When I was shooting my inking video yesterday, uh, as I wrote in the description, I had a little problem with the camera that I'm using, which is my uh, Sony Cybershot, because its battery died. I only have one, and there's actually no way to charge the battery in the camera. That is, I have to use this little adapter I have to put the battery in, which means, of course, I can't use the camera. I can't plug the power cord into the bottom of the camera while it's mounted on the tripod. So, it means I had to wait for this. In fact, I kind of cheated. I basically plugged this in for about 20 or 30 minutes to give myself, you know, 15, 20 minutes of power, which I hate doing. And I, I'm told you're not supposed to do that for lithiums. So one idea that I had was to use my phone. This is the Nokia Neuron. It's also called the 5320 or 5230, one of those. But the one I have is called the Neuron. That's what it's branded with T-Mobile. And it actually has a pretty good video mode. I've used it for a few other videos. Uh, it's not great, but it's actually really grown on me from what I had before. Uh, this is my replacement from my uh, Nokia Mode that tragically went through the wash. Call that karma because all the phones I've had and all the things that I've not done to them, I haven't even so much as dropped them. After all this time, it would make sense I'd put one through the wash, something really, really stupid. Uh, so I got this guy because it was all I could really get. I wasn't eligible for any upgrades. This is actually a prepaid. Uh, that said, though, it's really kind of grown on me, uh, mostly because of the video mode. Uh, I can even do some pretty straightforward video editing. In fact, I think the editor in this is better than the one that's built into YouTube. Uh, so not perfect, but good. Uh, something that gets me about a lot of camera phones, and this always bugged me when I was at T-Mobile, they don't have a way to mount on a tripod. Now that's supposed to be the idea, well, you're holding it, obviously. But if you're filming yourself, you're doing that thing where the camera's aimed back, back at you and you're holding your arm out like a moron. Uh, I shouldn't really be too hard. I've seen some people do that, but only out of necessity. Uh, with this, though, I just kind of thought, I've, I've got to do something. Maybe I can jury rig something to put it on this. And I got the idea to actually use this thing. This set of straps is for mounting a speaker on a set of handlebars for a bike. It came with this aluminum tube speaker, which also has a built-in memory card slot for playing MP3s. Really handy little gadget and came with this nice little handlebar mounting kit. So, I got an idea, and I'll show you the result of that in just a moment. And here it is, my very ghetto solution to not being able to put a camera phone on a tripod. And like I said, I, this bugged me when I was at T-Mobile because we had a, uh, I think it was a Samsung phone, I think it was the Memoir, that boasted having a really high megapixel camera built in. I think it was 5, which was really big at the time, now there are more. But when we got to try it out and play around with it, I noticed that the camera had a timer button. But, not only was there no real way to mount it to a tripod, you couldn't lie it sideways on a table on its side. It would fall over. So, why? And the sad thing is, Sony Ericsson, with some of their early phones, their Cybershot phones, had cases, like this, I've got this little rubber silicone case on the Neuron, that had a tripod mount built into it, a normal quarter-inch bolt, that would go into here. So, I thought, well, why don't I just use this thing? I've seen something kind of similar that works with iPhones. So, the way that handlebar mount works, I just got it on my camera handle, or rather the tripod handle. So that's wrapped around that. This is fairly level. And the strap is simply around the camera. And there is my lens. And at first I thought, great, I sold it. Then I realized this. Yeah, I can't see what the hell I'm doing. I mean, maybe I could shift it a little bit to one side, but that would might put it off balance and might actually pivot. 
Also might cover up the controls, might cover up my battery time, so... Yeah... Kind of a fail all around. So the point is... When you make any sort of web content or web show or anything like that that uses video, uh, have a backup plan and have a good one. Because otherwise, you're going to find yourself doing stupid things like this. And the saving grace will be that nobody sees you do this and nobody sees you screw up. Unless you do what I'm doing right now and record, reenact said screw up. Yeah.